Gotta say, I've been on a Star Trek kick lately. Can't exactly explain why I've been so obsessed with it in the past few days. Galaxy Quest got me started for sure. Maybe it's the fact that there's so much history to it that it kickstarted fandom as we know it, that it continues to appeal to fans young and old. I think for me, maybe it's that it's both really smart and really stupid at the same time. For the smart stuff, they have legitimately interesting messages and they're told in unique ways. A lot of the messages you'd think would be cliche and because so many people and stories have been influenced from Star Trek, they've become cliches, but you can see, at least I can see, where a lot of the influence came from. I definitely feel how original this is in the look of it and the feel of it. Everything about it feels like it's got a weight to it. It really pulls you in. And said when you get to the message at the end whatever the twist is it definitely feels like everything was building up to that moment and it pays off completely I think the characters are interesting you really get a sense of I know there was a lot of shit going on behind the scenes but on screen there's such a heart there's so much humanity there really does feel like this sense of camaraderie and optimism and hope for a better future, and I think that's why it stood the test of time. As for the stupid stuff, it's really, really cheap. The low budget sets, the cheap sweatshop costumes, the really cheesy special effects are so beautiful. I appreciate stuff like that. It really adds to the fun of it. Not to mention, there are some really stupid episodes, but for some reason, there's still... I appreciate the cheese of this show. There's also fan service. It's equal opportunity. They have attractive men and attractive women in this show. So, that's fun. So, yes, I think a lot of people also appreciate it on a selfish level. I certainly do, without going into too, too much detail. I don't feel like talking about that. I think for characters, the one I personally relate to the most is Captain Kirk. Because he's somebody who gives his all for the mission, for the crew. He cares about the crew and you feel that. He's the leader and things are on him and he cares and he's going to pull through. He's a bit of a flirt. And... He's, he is smart, but he's also silly, and he'll rush into a situation, but he'll still, his heart really is what carries him through. He's the head of the ship, but he's also the heart. Spock's the brain. Not that Kirk's dumb or anything, but he's definitely more impulsive, and he's likely to give in to temptation more easily than some of the other characters, and I like, I like that. I He's a very much, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and that's, what I relate to so much with him. He's very open about how he feels about a situation, for better or for worse. So he's a very emotionally honest, passionate person. That's something I personally relate to. Like everybody else, my favorite character, however, is Spock. Because I would say he's the most compelling character of the show. He's definitely the one who's used the most. I swear, the episodes I've seen in a row, I watch that out of order. They always seem to end with somebody gently teasing Spock about his human side. <laughs> and he'll either respond or walk away. He is the most compelling character, I'd say, because I think more people are like that. At least more people I've come across. People who feel the need to suppress their emotions for one reason or another. People who want to get by on pure intellect and purely analytical observations, but... And really denying how they feel about a situation. And even to the point where they deprive themselves. I've come across so many people like that in my life. More, I've met more Spocks than I have Kirks. 
So I definitely get the appeal. I think a lot of different people relate to Spock, and I find that interesting. But I also understand it. And the show really goes out of the way to really humanize him. As he's half Vulcan, half human. Like I said, they, they get the human side out a lot. But he also is usually the one who saves the day. He's usually the brains of the operation. He'll still succumb to a trap and he'll sacrifice himself for the team. But he's still... I think what I really get into with the relationships to the show is... Even if it's not always in practice, they don't always use the side characters as much. They don't always use Uhura, who's amazing, or Mr. Sulu. Spock's the one you see the most. Spock, Kirk, and McCoy are really the three you see the most. And even then, Kirk and Spock probably more so. But you feel their camaraderie, and you feel the heart that they have, and you feel that they are equals. There's definitely... They're equally valued on the team, and I think, I don't know if, now I know Codename Kids Next Door was more influenced from Star Wars, and the less I say about Star Wars versus Star Trek, the better, but what I really, really like about the Enterprise is that, at least in theory, everybody has their role, everybody is of equal importance, everybody is valued, and that very much comes across with Kirk, Spock, McCoy. Especially with the Kirk and Spock duo. However you interpret their relationship, and not gonna talk about that here. Cliff notes, some people interpret it as a deep friendship, some people interpret it as brotherly love, some people interpret it as a romance. All three are equally valid interpretations. But they have such an, there's an understanding between the two. They balance each other out. They're valued members of the team, and I. It's something I also really love in Codename Kids Next Door, that everybody has their equal role on the team and everybody is equally appreciated. So that's a lot of fun of Star Trek. And you get that these characters like each other. They're always sacrificing themselves for each other or for the mission and they're always working together to get shit done. I like that. I admire that. And they're doing it in very cheap sweatshop costumes on low-budget sets, and that's also very fun. But the writing and the acting really does pull it through as well. I mean, again, the cheapness adds to the charm. There is so much to talk about with the series. It kickstarted so much. I really do appreciate it. And I'll come back to it every once in a while. I do always really like it whenever I watch it. And it's one that really does give you a lot to think about. I think it's really cool to see what a positive impact this show had, the flaws that it had, and how it continues to get more people thinking, whether analytically or with their heart. Kirk and Spock. Head and heart, working together as equals, because part of a whole. That was cheesy, but then again, so is the show. It's a good show. I get why it's so popular. It fully deserves its reputation. The less I say about the nerd wars, the better.